This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance at nhliberty.org. Fighting to keep the free state free. Are you calling the shots? Are you calling the shots? Hey, Ridley here signing in for RidleyReport.com. This is September 5th, 2008. An attempt by city politicians Today, put it on the ballot. to keep a spending cap off the ballot has resulted in a demonstration and a nightmare for Democrats on the Manchester City Council, or I should say the Manchester Board of Aldermen. Demonstrators continue to pour in. Okay. Yeah. Oh, sorry. The folks here are in favor of putting this uh, spending cap issue on the November ballot and don't want it to be in a special election because that would cost taxpayers an additional $40,000. Be the rent of the automatic chamber of chairs. And, you know, I've known Mike Lopez for 20 some odd years because right. he worked at the post office where I worked at the right. post office. He always wanted something better. Right. And he's working at it. Yeah. You know? I couldn't even, I emailed him, the email came back, not received. I call him on the phone, I got a message. Uh, talking about Mike Lopez uh, on the board of aldermen. I'm sitting here with Larry Gagney, who, tell me a little about what you told the board of aldermen last night. I'm a plain speaker, and I'm not a, as eloquent as some of these other who were speaking. I came up uh, shortly after the uh, mayor from Franklin that they were dissing because of a small population. Well, it has to do, we, got, we have more people living here than Franklin, but they were living within their means. They're doing quite well. So my premise was, look, I lived in the city most of my life. I raised two children. They're both off the, send them both off to college. I could afford it. I lived within my means. Well, I don't know where that came from. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> but that's what happens when you do a blog. I, uh, I told them there were a lot of nice things I would have loved to have put on my house, like a garage, so I wouldn't have to shovel snow in the winter off my car. But I couldn't afford it, so I didn't do it. So I learned to live within my means. And I believe that the city, through the Board of Mayor and Alderman, our elected representatives, should think about that and live within their means. There's Alderman Garrity, one of the people who's on our side on this issue. I think he's a Democrat, but he's uh, he's in favor of people being able to vote on this in November. I see you getting out again. If the spending cap were to pass, it would restrict the rate at which the city is able to increase spending. Numbers continuing to grow as we get past 3 o'clock. Great. What are we going to do about vending machines, though? I'm not sure. <laughs> Um, well, we'll figure something we'll create out. Create a dish for new. Of course, the, the union leader, the local paper, they're here covering the issue. Yes. The guy on the left is with the paper. And if they choose not to, then if they force us to go to court in order to get them to do what they should be doing, then that's what we'll have to do. And unfortunately, that's going to cost the city of Manchester money, too, which, again, is not is obviously not our goal in this. More press, more honks. Sam Adams would know what to do here, I guess. Who supports the spending cap? I do! Who wants it on the November ballot? Me! Okay, what's it? need a megaphone? I don't! Oh. Let us vote! 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 It's not totally one-sided. There's also a delegation here from the firefighters, presumably opposing the spending cap. And then there's also some uh, education, public education folks here to oppose the spending cap. I've spoken to these guys and asked them uh, if they could get somebody who'd be willing to talk to me on camera, and they're apparently working on that now. 
Mr. Lopez, why did you vote to keep this off the November ballot, if I may ask? I'll give you an answer to that. Appreciate that. I put it off on a November ballot because I think the presidential election, uh, that, the, that the information is not information to the people for each, each of the things that in the, in the uh, resolution that even the elected officials and the, and the, and the people cannot explain yet. And that's the big thing. That's the bond issue. Would, would, you, would you like to do this where I can hear you a little bit better? Huh? Would you like to do this where I can hear you a little bit better because of the noise? Well, You're certainly welcome to. It's your choice. So I'm, I'm asking Alderman Lopez if he'd like to... Alderman Lopez, what? Yes, yes. Alderman Lopez, do you think that your will is stronger than that of the Manchester voters? Okay, well now we're in a place where I can actually hear Alderman Lopez, um, and anyway, I'll let you go ahead and finish what you were saying. You, you had a reason for, for not wanting this on the November ballot. Yeah, I think that the problem that we've had is over the, over the past few months that nobody wanted to answer any of the type of questions until the resolution was in place, uh, and, and to make sure, and not that the resolution was in place, uh, and they got the numbers on the ballot, is to determine what does it actually mean? And I think there's a lot of things in there that a lot of people don't really understand, to include people that are professionals don't understand, finance officers, city solicitors, and what does it exactly mean for the airport, uh, for an example, all the enterprise system. And you've got to answer those types of questions. You've got to make sure uh, that the people, the people voting when they go to the ballot, they realize. Because you're talking about a constitution, about a charter, that is going to be in place for quite a while if it passes, okay? And so when the time comes that we're, where you have to do the tax cap, uh, I'll give you an example. An individual just only a day stopped me, he wants a new fire truck. That's about $1.4 million. And, and the general bonding, the bond council gave us some information that our bonding rating might go down. That's one answer we got back. I, and I think that the other thing we have to wait for is for the Secretary of State in the Attorney General's office to see if the resolution is legal to put on the ballot. You know how I'm always talking about the fact that if you go to the State House and you swing your fist, you hit a member of the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance. Well, I've never actually showed you any video of the, 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 the way the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance is able to just pack the State House full of Liberty activists. Take a look at this. On this day, we had about 30 activists, I think, to fight for more freedom in New Hampshire and prevent the State House from passing bad bills. There have been times where we've had more like 50. Here they are meeting with the governor the same day. And they've had quite a bit of legislative success, too. That's why I'm a member of the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance and hope you will be, too. Find out more at nhliberty.org. nhliberty.org.